CAD blocks, how useful are they? Uh, in this example, we're going to create a uh, ceiling plan for a small commercial building. Uh, Chief will let you do that, it's just Chief does not have pre-made components. So you got to be creative and make up your own. So we've created this block. And just very quickly, we can just go to our CAD boxes. Hit box, create a box, and I find it easiest to just click on the box, go to the box specification, type in 24 by 24, and now we have our grid, and we want to make the inside of that, so let's go to our boxes, rectangular polyline, we want to be about an inch away. So we're somewhere right about there. And we can just edit that. Yeah, inch is good. Yeah, we're talking. Maybe like there. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, sort of. Maybe. Oh, that's inch and a half. We actually want this to be one inch. So we go one. Yeah, that's better. And this guy, we want to be one. Alrighty, this guy we want to be one. Simple, this is really basic stuff. Why isn't that, oh, whoa. Oh, it's dimension two. Okay, got it. This we want to go there, now we're talking. Now it's one, one, one all the way around to stamp into that. Okay, there, 110. So we want fill, go, solid, little gray box. Let's make it translucent so you can see something that's below it, like some furniture. And now we have our block drawing. We select all, select objects, not select all, select objects, and we make our block then we create our insertion point. So we use this command down here and we point to that and that is going to be our insertion point. So now we can take this 2 by 4 ceiling light control C control V and pop it there and there it is inserted into the corner of our grid. Do similar things for the diffuser grid, the uh, return grill, etc. You can get creative, do all sorts of uh, fun stuff with with CAD blocks. You can do all sorts of stuff. This is just one example.